respond. Oh, Caroline. You're nothing but consistent. I appreciate you. Every day. I appreciate you. I hope, I hope you're well. How's college, high school, whatever you're in? What are you in? High school? Do you listen to NPR? High school. Oh. Girl, it gets better, trust me. And then it gets much, much worse. But it gets better for a little bit. Seriously. It gets, like, better for, like, about three, four years, college. Then you, like, fall in love, and then you move somewhere, and then it's a disaster. This is, this is oh, my God! We still have senior year. Senior year was the best. I didn't do shit. I still got straight A's. I loved senior year. Because, like, junior year, you're just now getting rid of, like, the shitty friends that you never actually liked. And then, like, senior year, you, like, literally don't do shit. Like, they're like, oh, you have one test this year. It's in the first month. And then, but I went to public school, which is, like, for poor people. Um, so that's why I got straight A's, because everyone was stupid. Uh, yeah. You're gonna love it. Ah, college is so dope. I hope you're going. Because, literally, you show up and nobody knows who you are. You can become, like, your own person. Caroline, you're gonna have the best life. I'm just telling you right now. What's the ring ceremony? Are you getting married? What does that mean? I'm excited about my ring ceremony. Class ring. Why? What do you, I mean like what? A, that lasts about 30 seconds, then you like lose it. No, I didn't have a class ring. Mm -mm. I didn't even know they still did that. I think they did send out like a thing to order it, but I was like, I don't, I don't keep many things, like I don't, I'm not like a sentimental person when it comes to like personal items. So like, I don't, uh, hi Brazil. I don't, um, I don't have a lot of things. I have like one thing that matters to me. Like yeah, I don't, I don't love like carrying around things. Cause I move a lot, so it's just like, if I carry around things and it's like, I have to like carry it around, it's fucking heavy, you know? So now I don't have a class reading. No, college is so good. You can pick what you want to learn. You get to pick your classes. You have classes like three days a week. You basically like, nobody knows who you are. You can be, you, you have a bunch of friends that like literally were Kate, like your choice. You have like the choice. And everyone the first, like you're gonna make, you're gonna make friends the first week that, um, that you'll never talk to ever again after the first year because like everybody's just so hungry to make friends. Um, and then you realize you guys actually didn't get along, but then you do find a good set of friends um, But just know like the ones you meet in the first couple weeks are like not real They're not real, but everyone's just trying to make friends. Oh, well, maybe they're real. I don't know, but like you'll find good ones College is so great College is so great But enjoy high school You should enjoy high school for sure It's about to get real easy Shout out to my fan, Caroline. 1993. Guys. Do you think Donald Trump's hair is real? Because I saw a picture where it was blowing in the wind. And... It's attached to his head. For sure. But... Is it real? It's a wig. I don't think so. Also, like, if he wins the election... We gotta move. I, I don't know if I can do that. Mm. What a disaster. <sighs> what a disaster. Canada. Oh, Canada. Oh, shit. Speaking of Canada. Shug, if you're on here, I'm gonna write your letter for your green card soon. I just forgot, and you just made me realize it. Thank you, Caroline. I need to do that today. I need to do that yesterday. Sugar baby, all you other sugar babies are just in my tady, so won't the real sugar baby please stand up? As I'm thinking I'm having a good hair day. I mean, I know it's like post-gym hair, but I've never played video games in my life. I've tried like twice. What's you, you, you? What is that? You, you, we. I don't know what that is. Um, I've never played video games in my life. Uh, when I was a kid, I tried playing, like, Nintendo, which I don't know if you're old enough. You're not. You're, I, I think Nintendo 64 came out in, like, 1996, so you were, like, three years old. But, um, 
I, they are on the road. Uh, I'm waiting in a light. Uh, 1993. Uh, I tried playing Nintendo. I tried playing Mario. Uh, yeah, I couldn't do it. I'm like retarded. Yeah, but how old are you? I mean, 17. That came out in 96. You were three, so you probably didn't play it until you were like eight, seven, eight. So that was like 1999, which is so crazy to me. Seventeen. Wait. You were born in like seventeen. You were born in like two thousand and yeah, nineteen ninety eight. Why is your thing nineteen ninety three? I still don't understand. Is ninety three like your favorite number? Yeah, it should be ninety eight. See I'm Caroline nineteen eighty eight or are you are you being a trickster? Do you play Xbox three sixty? I think it's just like, you know what I mean? What do you play? Call of Duty. Yeah. I know, I know lots of, uh, I'm hip. I know these things, I'm cool. I read IGN. Halo games and racing games. Oh, have you ever played Mario Kart? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Caroline, you're gonna be part of my It Gets Better campaign. It's just you and me, and I'm just telling you it gets better, and that's the campaign. Because I know high school sucks, but it's all, it's all uphill until you're 28, and then you realize you don't know what you're doing with your life, and you're periscoping in the middle of the day. Oh my god, that was instantly depressing. Okay, I'm heavily medicated. Hi, Anurvnina. Nina. Anurv Nina. How are you? Good morning. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. I was spent some time at the DMV yesterday. My old boss used to call it poor people's revenge. And he said that because he said it's how poor people get back at rich people. And I was like, that's very funny. But I'm poor, so I think I might get a job at the DMV. How are you? I'm good. How are you? As I was saying, I'm having a great day. I went to the gym. Got real strong. Uh, I'm going to work right now uh, in my gym clothes because I work from home. <laughs> um, okay. Um, how are you? Don't forget to hydrate, it keeps you youthful and gorgeous. Drinking water was a big hit. So many hearts. Ryan, are you here? Guys, I have a Snapchat. Um, uh, somebody today, yesterday called me Miss Snapchat, which I thought was very funny. Uh, um, I also have an Instagram, which I find very um, tickling, but uh, a lot of people find very annoying. So follow me there. Um, I'm just doing a little bit of shameless self-promotion because I live in Los Angeles and um, everybody's consumed by their narcissism. Um, I'm feeling quite pretty today. I feel like I had a lot of water last night, a lot of wine, and I woke up feeling like, which is very rare, feeling very like, I feel good today, you know? I feel good. Nothing's gonna bring me down until someone says something like, you're dumb, and then it just like, crippling depression. A nerve for you're back. Hey, if you ever thought about moving to Los Angeles, don't. Because this is literally the life of an Angelino. Just stuck in traffic. Both sides. 
construction all the time. Just a disaster. And they they also like just put in this disgusting um, museum. It's an automobile museum. You guys have to. See. When did you know you were gay? Um, when do you know you were gay? I knew I was gay when I was six years old, but I didn't tell anybody until I was 18 years old. When did you know you were gay? If you're not gay, it's not an insult. It's okay. I just assumed you were asking because you were curious. Guys, I'm going to show you the disgusting museum as soon as we get up there. But, um, traffic is fun. I sometimes think about it, and I'm 17. Um, you sometimes think about it as like a, I mean, sexuality, I think now with people who are younger, it seems more fluid, if you ask me. Uh, mine is defined. I tried, I experimented in college with women, uh, and it was fine. Uh, everybody experiments in college, right? I'm just gonna fucking go, I don't care. Oops, sorry. All right, thanks so much. Ooh, thanks. This is the disgusting museum. Look at it. Filthy! Ugh! What were they Okay, what were we talking about? Oh. Um, you sometimes think about it and you're 17. Well, uh, why don't you try it? It's not a big deal. Grab one of your homosexual friends and uh, get drunk with them and make out with them. Why not? Great advice. You're welcome. Okay, so those arguing for the removal, they say what, that it's unfair because these are misdemeanors and not covered under the DNA law? It's like Correct. the most boring um, dub smash. You know, they basically say, uh, look, having to give your DNA, it's an invasion of privacy and we need to make sure that, you know, it is upheld under the strictest legal standards. And if, if you're not a felon anymore, the law says that you don't have to give your DNA. There's also some dispute happening in the courts now about when this DNA is collected, whether it should be collected during the arrest or during the conviction. Correct. Yeah, about 10 years ago or so, um, a law was passed uh, that said that if you're 